happy. Oh my gosh, look at this full house. This is incredible. Thank you so much for coming. Um, so this is my senior project, as well as you know, um, which could not have happened without my amazing cast and sound and everybody. So Um, and her left brain and her right brain are um, at war with each other because kind of her darker side, her more unknown side um, has come out. You know, it's like classic coming of age, hero's journey sort of thing. Um, who is who we call Eduardo because, you know, Twilight. Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, so. Um, please turn off all cell phones. This is very distracting and positively dangerous. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, any questions before we begin? I no? um, all right. So without further ado, we have a great show for you. Enjoy. <laughs> Is 
from the west side. Isn't he pretty? You made him? <laughs> He's not a puppy. That name sucks anyways. By the look of it, he needs to be more far east in sound. Dark castles, snow, wolves, vampires. Uh, guys, sorry to interrupt. Um, you seem like you got a good thing going here, but it's, it's the Northwest, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Emotionless, a little emo. Sheesh, woman, give the guy a chance. Eduardo, can you feel anything? <sighs> you know, it's been a long time, but this fresh air, it's reminding me of something. Something long ago, something like, well, Well, I've got to go, so you better just let me go. 
You're gonna let me help you. Oh, get away from me! <laughs> what the hell, dude? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I realized it wasn't ideal. I just couldn't help myself. Will you give me a second chance? Why should I? My neck could have been permanently tattooed by your little fangs there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've been stuck in the deep, deep, deep recesses of your mind for so long. <laughs> Please forgive me. No, not gonna happen, dude. You know what? You just want me to trust you so that you can just get close enough to so you can kill me. Well, not gonna happen, buddy boy. I've got news for you. Go away! <laughs> Talk to me. I think I need to go find him. We need to make a call. 
compromise or something. Alright? But don't worry. Don't worry, darling. The worst I'll go for is a split a raw steak or something out the deli. <laughs> <laughs> what a mess! Happy? Yes. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Fine. This mental business is 
hard work. This emotional business is hard work. You don't even know the meaning of the organ. <laughs> Whose heart are you? You're a brain. You don't have one. <laughs> Every single day, I walk down the street. I hear people say, baby, it's so sweet. Ever since puberty, everybody stares at me. I can help it, baby. So be kind and don't lose your mind. Just remember that I'm Probably rhyming. 
right now. <laughs> Two times they're bitten, forever smitten. <laughs> Look, you don't listen. <laughs> listen! There it is again. Because your ears on that side doesn't mean you can't hear. Because your ears on that side doesn't mean you always have to listen. Maybe he's right. We're kind of part of the same thing. Preach! Maybe it's time. He got on for once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only on special occasions. Who's next? Oh, you won't believe it. She's perfect. Let's hear. Well, she's a prostitute. Oh no! Just listen for once. She happens to be a prostitute. With a heart of gold. How did you know? She's very nice. Chippy. Classy in her own. And there's this rich guy you found, soulless, lonely, greedy. Exactly! I'm telling you, you have a real knack for this. Best sellers could be in your future. Uh, I'll pretend I didn't hear that, but in a weird way, that's kind of the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> there it is again. I think Eduardo's had a change of heart. They both have. Huh. You feel? You feel moved?